On some of the BBC's biggest shows, he was larger than life. Jimmy Savile, often appearing on screen with children who he later sexually assaulted, like nine-year-old Kevin Cook. He should never have been allowed to do what he was doing, um, carrying on in the job that he done. Savile sexually abused minors and adults in his motorhome and in BBC offices and studios over six decades. Today's damning report found 117 people at the BBC admitted they had heard rumors about Savile, but no one did anything to stop it. BBC staff felt and were sometimes told that it was not in their best interests to pursue a complaint. Former Judge Janet Smith says the BBC put its stars ahead of all else and brushed aside any complaints that surfaced. Today we say sorry, we let you down and we know it. The corporation has vowed to learn lessons from this. It's already put in place a whistleblower policy, but the report found to this day employees still live in a culture of fear. People don't want to rock the boat, especially at a time when the BBC is under such uh, financial pressure. Who wants to risk their career? The report links 72 victims to Savile's time at the BBC. He died in 2011, but just this week the corporation fired a radio host in connection with this inquiry. The BBC now hopes to close what it calls a dark chapter. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, London.